Phil Heath vs. Kai Green at the 2012 Shiro Classic in India. I've already made Phil vs. Jay Cutler at the 2011 Shiro Classic and Phil vs. Kai at the 2012 Mr. Olympia. I leave annotations for those who have not watched them yet. By taking a look at their stance in this shot, you can see that Kai genetically has the bigger and the wider chest, but Phil has the more rounded and fuller shoulders and arms, and the better forearms. The front double biceps shows that they both have powerful arms. Phil has the longer biceps, while Kai has the better peak. Kai has the wider chest and lats, but the wider waist too. Phil's conditioning here was not as good as it was at the Olympia from the same year. The front lat spread shows that Kai has the wider chest and lats, as Phil does not hit an impressive pose due to his narrow structure. Notice the difference in the size of the arms and the forearms in favor of Phil. Kai's outer quads look insane in this shot. The side chest shows that they both hit an impressive pose, making use of their powerful upper physique. Notice the conditioning and the separation they show pretty much everywhere. Kai's biceps look inhuman in this pose, but his bloated stomach distorts his overall proportions and aesthetics. Another side chest pose showing Phil's superior proportions and symmetry with his rounded muscles and his tight midsection, contrary to Kai's bloated stomach, which looks awful in this shot. The back double biceps shows that they both have massive and ripped arms, but Kai has the better biceps peak as we saw in the front double biceps. Phil has the more rounded and fuller shoulders and the better traps in my opinion. Kai's lats are wider and arguably shows better separation in the lats area. Phil has the more shredded glutes, but they both have massive thighs and ripped hamstrings, with Phil having the better calves. By taking a look at this pose from the 2012 Mr. Olympia, you can see that Phil's conditioning was better than it was at the Shiro Classic that year. You can notice the roundedness and the fullness he shows in his shoulders and 3D back. That was not the case at the Shiro Classic. The rear lat spread shows that Kai has the wider and the denser lats. Phil has the better traps, as Kai's traps are among his least impressive areas, along with his forearms. Phil shows impressive conditioning with his ripped glutes and hamstrings. But again, he was not as conditioned as he was at the 2012 Mr. Olympia. By taking another look at this pose from the 2012 Mr. Olympia, you can see that Phil's conditioning was way better, and it shows in his better rib traps, which makes Kai look rather soft in the lats area. Back to the Shiro Classic, the side triceps shows that Phil has the more massive triceps which are arguably considered among the best. Kai's triceps are ripped, but lack the size to match Phil in this pose. Phil looks more shredded in the chest and the midsection areas, but they both show great size and conditioning in the lower section. The abs and thighs shows that they both have ripped abs, and Kai manages to hold his midsection tight. Phil does not have the best abs out there, but he maintained a tight midsection that year, which was arguably tighter than that of Kai, as we clearly saw in the side chest pose. Kai has the wider lats and shows striations in his outer quads. The most muscular shows that Phil has the fuller and the more rounded shoulders and arguably looks bigger than Kai in this shot. But one could argue that Kai's conditioning looks better, regardless of the difference in tanning. If we go back to the 2012 Mr. Olympia, we can see that Phil's conditioning was on another level and can't be compared to the level he presented at the Shiro Classic that year. The proportions, the symmetry, the fullness, and the muscles maturity were all superior. 
The crab most muscular shows that Phil has the better traps and the more massive and fuller shoulders. Kai, however, shows great conditioning and separation, especially in the quads area with these inhuman striations. Again, the same pose from the 2012 Mr. Olympia shows that Phil dominates with his superior traps, fuller and more rounded shoulders and overall proportions. As you see, Phil at the 2012 Shiro Classic was not as dominant as he was at the 2012 Mr. Olympia. Let me know what you think about this matchup and don't forget to check the annotations. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.